The Bible is a collection of 66 books written by many, compiled and completed in more than a thousand years, and yet remain consistent in its message and purpose. It is considered as a divine library. It provides a historical and theological information. However, its primary purpose is practical. It is to do something in the life of the reader. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 to 17 clearly states its purpose. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. To Christians around the world, the Bible serves as the basis of their faith and practice. The Bible is divided into two major divisions, the Old Testament, or OT, and the New Testament, or NT. This lesson will focus on the Old Testament books and their classifications. The Old Testament is the first major division of the Bible and is composed of 39 small books from Genesis to Malachi. These books were written mostly in Hebrew and with a few passages in Aramaic. They generally tell of God's journey with the Israelites and how they were guided, provided, inspired, saved, and restored from danger and destruction over and over again. The Old Testament Books and Their Classification The first classification is the Pentateuch, consists the first five books of the Old Testament. The term Pentateuch comes from the Greek term Pentateuchos, means five-volumed book. The Jews called it Torah, instruction, which means law. So it's books of law. We have five books, one Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. The second classification is history books or Ivrit. The 12 history books cover the life of the nation of Israel from their possession of the land down to the two deportations and loss of the land because of unbelief and disobedience, covering about 800 years. Of Israel's history, these 12 books tell about the conquering and possession of Canaan, the reigns of the judges, the establishment of kings, the division of Israel into the northern and southern kingdoms, the fall of the northern kingdom to Assyria, the exile of the southern kingdom into Babylon, and the return to Jerusalem under the leadership of men like Nehemiah and Ezra. So we have 12 history books. We have Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther. The third classification is poetical books, or Ketuvim. These five books were called poetical books because of their form of writing. There are three kinds of poetry as reflected on these books. One, lyric poetry, which was originally accompanied by music on the lyre, the Psalms. Two, didactic poetry, which, using maxims, was designed to communicate basic principles of life, Proverbs and Ecclesiastes. Three, dramatic poetry, which used dialogue to communicate its message. We have Job and the Song of Solomon. Poetry books portray real human experience and grapple with profound problems and express big realities. And so we have five poetical books 
we have Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Songs or Song of Solomon. The fourth classification of books in the Old Testament is Major and Minor Prophets or Nevi'im. Prophets may have used diverse literary forms in prof since prophets have variety of roles such as speaker, writer, motivator, seer, and many more. The 17 prophets named here were raised up by God to restore or warn Israel from defeat, civil war, immorality, idol worship, forgetfulness and complacency they were called by god to proclaim his message to the people they have a unique ability to see both the affairs of people and into the mind of god thus spoke the message of god to the people they explained the past and exposed the tendency of people's actions. They protested against immoral rituals and practices of the people. Above all, they summoned men and women to be right with God and people. And so we have five major prophets. We have Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, and Daniel. We have 12 minor prophets, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. Therefore, we have four classifications of the Old Testament books. Number one, we have books of law or the Pentateuch, or Torah. Number two, we have history books, or Ivrit. Number three, we have poetical books, or Ketuvim. And number four, we have prophetic books, or Nevi'im.